Well, Jamie, uh, another impressive performance here, but now Perth, Australia, after you know however many months it's been since the UFC came back here, what are the emotions after this big win? Yeah, good, man. Um, just it's, it's relieving to get the win. Um, and, yeah, coming, out, coming into this fight, it was uh, a chance for me to show my, my skills. Um, I've been in a, in a couple of wars lately. Not to say that there wasn't skill shown in them. Um, they were like, I, I call them like a skillful brawl, um, technical brawl, so to speak. But, yeah, Francisco, man, he's, um, he's like a young, hungry lion. And uh, I didn't want to give him the chance. Like coming in, exchanging wild, it was it was hard to actually refrain myself from doing that at times, um, especially in front of the home crowd. They they wanted to see the the uh, the classic hooligan, but um, we we wanted to just show the skills in this fight and show the levels um, and just not not give them a chance to be in this fight. So we did we did exactly that. Kind of going off of that, it seems right out of the gate, you just, you established the pace. Like, he was working off of your pace rather than allowing him to work his game, and you were kind of picking the better shots. Was that the game plan coming in, and when you are finding so much success, how difficult was it not to just kind of open up like you have in the past? Yeah, well, he's dangerous, man. So that's that's where the the uh, safety, like, just just, just not, not playing it safe, but just not giving him a chance. Um but yeah, exactly. We we were looking to get the reads on him <clears throat> and just show that this, at this level, uh, it's it's a little bit different. Um, uh, hats off to him though. Like he he stood up and and took this fight. My opponent pulled out nine weeks out. No one stepped up. Like I know a lot of people got offered that fight. I don't know if it was just the travel. Don't want. To, I, I would have come out to Australia for a free holiday. Like you know what I mean. I, I was. I was gobsmacked that no one. No one wanted the fight. But um, Francisco stepped up. So hats off to him. You also opened him up. Like you cut him up in the first round. Uh, did you think that you could have gotten him away in the second round, or and were you surprised that he was able to take more damage? Nah, I, I wasn't surprised at his toughness because he looks like a game guy. Um, watching some of his fights, some of his wins come from come from him after being uh, dominated for for a round or two. So um, I wasn't surprised at his toughness, but I did. I felt like the finish was there in the third if I just upped the pace a little bit. Um, but he's he's still dangerous there too. So <clears throat> I just didn't want to get uh, caught like just uh, trying to force something so yeah just again staying patient staying calculated and uh getting getting the w you obviously you called out patty pimblett at the end how long has that name been on in the back of your minds uh to, for a possible fight yeah well man i i think it's a good fight like and i think uh i think it's a, po a high possibility that fight could happen um i've got my irish heritage um the hooligan versus the baddie, man. Like, don't tell me that's not an exciting fight. Put that on a, on a card. That that's gonna that's gonna wreak havoc. I know it would. Have you been impressed with him in the UFC? I know a lot of people think that Jared won hit the last fight. Yeah, I thought he lost his last fight, honestly. Um, but that's that man. He comes to fight, and that's why I say the hooligan versus the baddie would be a sick fight because we both we both come. We we bring it. Um, <clears throat> his game is tough. I see holes in his game. I'm sure he'd see holes in mine. And we'd put on a fucking show. I know we would. Um, but, yeah, that, that, that fight's been in, on my mind for a little while. I think it's on every lightweight's mind. Uh, he won't – I don't think he'll take it, but I – th uh, No, I, I won't say no, – never say never. I, I think it, it's, a, it's a fight that could happen for sure. Maybe over in London. I'd, I'd love to go into his backyard. So do you think you could be the one to break this narrative that Scousers don't get knocked out? A hundred percent. I see that chin up in the air every single fight and just oh, lick my lips. Michael Bisping seemed to uh, disagree with that Like at the end of the interview. Do you think he kind of pooped on your moment a little bit there? Uh, yeah, I'm lucky. Uh, he, he, <laughs> he laughed at, uh, at Paddy the first time he said it, I think. 
Um, and you mentioned the opponent pulled out nine weeks out. Um, do you know why? Like, that's pretty far out, obviously, to, to be withdrawing from a fight. It must have been something pretty serious, right? Yeah, I think I've, I've heard he might have been having hand surgery, uh, like an old injury. So, Nazareth, he's tough, man. It, that would have been a good battle. That's that's one to, to make down the line as well. I'd, I'd love to fight Nazareth. Yeah, and I mean, like, you mentioned London. Obviously, they're going there in a couple of weeks. It's not going to happen then, like... They might not go back until next year or something. Uh, is that one, if Paddy doesn't happen the next fight, like, are you going to keep kind of calling his name and not wait around for him, though? No, I won't wait around. I, I won't wait for him, but um, that's it's the fight that I want. It's, it's definitely the most exciting fight that's going to gonna propel me up, but um, I want to fight. Uh, like, taking this fight with Francisco, people were saying, oh, it's risky, man. Like, I'm, a f- I'm a fucking fighter, bro. Oh, I want to I want to fight. I don't care who it is. I want to get paid. Yeah, he's obviously a Francisco, a pretty young guy. When you go in there, like do you, do you kind of feel that you're fighting a kid to some degree or how does that feel? Yeah, I, I definitely felt more experienced. Um he's coming into the big show, so I, I saw a little bit of the uh like a little bit of maybe uncertainty and, and hesitation in him. Um but he's he's a young tough tough kid and he reminds me of me when I was his age like just going for the finish so um that might have been a, a, a that that again that's an like a advantage on my part because I'm, I've had so like I'm not an easy fight to come in for your debut into the UFC um no way so respect to him for taking the opportunity is it nice now your work's done you get to kick your feet up and watch the rest of the boys do their work tonight yeah for sure man um like i won't harp on about it but this this was a fucking shit camp too i overcame injury sickness it was it was a uh we got we got through it we got it done but it it is a a big relief to uh get through what i got through is this one of your more rewarding wins because of that um Nah, I feel <laughs> I was just saying to Ross in the back, I was like, it just doesn't feel the same when you don't uh put on a fucking war or, or, or finish your opponent. I'm I'm I like to finish my opponent. So even in that third round I was sitting back going, Oh, come on, like maybe uh, but we just we just stayed calculated. Uh Jamie. Uh why do you think they served you up uh Francisco Prado? Do you think it was more for a fight for you or a fight for him? Um I think it was because they couldn't find me someone. That's honestly, like, I'm I'm grateful uh, that Sean got me a fight because I said I I really want to fight in my backyard. And at f- when he first pulled out, I was not stressed at all. I was like nine weeks, people would be jumping at the opportunity to come out to Australia and fight. And I was shocked. I I just couldn't believe that like four weeks had gone by, and I was like, and then I. Uh, I heard that no one was taking the fight, so he. I, I'm I'm thankful that the UFC went and Sean went and got me a fight. Did you keep training? Did they stay in contact with you in those four weeks, or were you just uh, hoping the phone would ring? Um, yeah, we were we were just staying in in talks. They just said we're we're, we're looking, we're looking. So I, nothing changed really. I just I just I stayed training in camp. Um, yeah, like I said, I was going through a little bit, a few little little adversities and stuff in camp, but all fighters get them. But um, yeah, we just stayed on on the mission. And uh, just finally, uh, if you do get that Paddy Pimlet fight, where do you see yourself winning? Uh where in the world or where in the uh, fight? Where in the fight? How? Uh I th- I think I take his chin. Um, that's that's the the obvious one, but. I've 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 got to show my wrestling tonight as well, um, my grappling a little bit, but um, yeah, Paddy's a Paddy's a, t- a tough fighter. I reckon he's like he's he's game. He's got good skills. So, um, but I see myself knocking him out. To be honest, you mentioned in the post-fight um, interview with Michael Bisping that you found yourself getting a bit bored in the ring. Do you find yourself zoning out a bit if you're not in a war? Nah, not zoning out. Like just a little bit, like. When I'm in front of someone and you're trying to kill me, like I, I just I want to go. I don't know. It's, that's how, that's how I am. Um, my record leading into the UFC like spoke for itself. Or only one of my fights had ever gone the distance. Um, so yeah, that's just how I fight, man. Like I don't like sitting back. I like action. Um, when you're in front of me, I just kind of I, I don't like uh, 
pitter patter and scoring points. I don't like leaving it in the hands of the judges. I really don't like doing that because I've been shafted before on that. Um, yeah. You think that might lead to trouble getting caught by some big shots that are on the quite heavy and might do the damage later on? Sorry, what? Do you think that might get you in trouble a bit later on if someone tries to bait you into coming in by taking it slow? Yeah, well, that that's where I'm learning. Um, that's where I'm learning on staying calculated, staying a little bit more professional and uh, staying patient. That That's a big thing, especially on the world stage and on the big stage. Um, it's it's very easy to get drawn into that war with the crowd, but um, that's where we're, we're just learning and where we're improving, you know?